Hey everybody, it's Tamika. I am here to share with you guys um, my first project as a guest design team member of One Little Dreamer. I will put a link to our tea store in the description box so you guys can check her out. I will also put a link to the video that I received of the package I received from RT. So lots and lots of bling, yumminess, lace. So um, please check that out guys if you have not had a chance. So let's get into this awesomeness. Um, oh my gosh, this is my first time creating or altering a mask. And I thought it turned out so, so beautiful. I have a space in my craft room that the whole table is dedicated to just lusciousness. It's like projects that I've received or have made. Most of them are swaps and things that I've received from my friends. And it's just full of shabby Vintage, shabby, chic, um, just awesomely pretty stuff on that table. So I am going to make a space for what I created as my guest design team project. And it's going to look lovely in there. And I'm so super excited to share. So what I made was I altered a little wooden tray that I had. I put some marbles underneath on the bottom. And then I painted the inside with a um, Crate and Barrel vanilla colored paint. I'll just move this off the way because it's not going to stay still. And then I have added um, some newsprint, or not newsprint, dictionary paper to the bottom. So I'm going to take some of the items out so you can see just the inside. And then we'll get to the goody items. So all I did was add some lace for my stash. I randomly added some of these uh, pink iridescent pearls and some little pieces of bling that I got in um, a swap that I just did with uh, my friends. So I added those to um, add some more just vintage blingy to the base of my project. And then I had the pearls sporadic on here on purpose because of the way that I'm setting the items on here. So the first thing I did I was created a flower and these are all items from my stash. Lots of just bits and laces and, and tit doilies and things that I wanted to just make the flower really, really full. And then, um, you know, display it on my yummy tray. And then I created another flower and this gorgeous bling is from RT Store. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And then even off the lights, it just sparkles really good. And then I have a crochet daily doily. And then I have a doily that I made a flower out of. I added some pearls. And then there's other little um, pieces, lace pieces that I created um, the flower with. So little piece on the back. So I just stitched it up really quick and added that bling. And it looks absolutely gorgeous on here. Just, I love this vintage tray. And then I have um, had this little metal uh, comb in my stash and it's just the bronze colored metal and then I added um, what do you call that I embossed it wet embossed it so I've added the embossing and then white embossing powder on here and then look at that cute little rhinestone bowl it's stinking cute I love it of course I have paint that just will not remove from my fingers spray paint but it's absolutely gorgeous I really really love this bowl oh my gosh it just it's absolutely gorgeous and I couldn't use it so I will display it and look at all of its yumminess in my vintage tray. <laughs> I also added um, just one of her, another one of her pearls in here for effect. Again, it's very hard to um, not like this bling so lots of things that you can do with it but for these pieces I just wanted to have them on display and then I made a um, wrist dangle it's super cute I'm going to share it and then I'm going to show put it on for you my daughter Kyla looks better in it than I do because her hands are so stinking small so look at the gorgeous middle accent piece that's from RT store bling bling central it's just absolutely gorgeous this is some lace from her store very detailed um, flower and leaf pattern and then I took my heat tool and went over it so that it'll get rid of the netting that's around it. So it'll look just like just the pieces without the, the netting around it. So look at that. I got the um, plain bracelet from Michaels. 
and then I added some chain and then I also got a uh, ring base from Michaels and it's adjustable and then I added um, one of Artie's bling pieces at the top so the idea behind it is to make um, one of those those cute wrist pieces that everyone likes to wear so, see it's super cute and you can wear it of course on any finger and put it at any length this ring is adjustable so if I wanted to just hang it from right there of course you know you can put your chain you know cute 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 it's super cute I love it I love it I love it just some little jewelry pieces that you can add to um, that I added to my little vintage tray isn't it lovely anyway love it love it love it so um, maybe you can try that at home I'm gonna take that off it's a display piece it's not meant to be worn all right and then last and certainly not least I absolutely love this mask I um, it's just funny when I was doing the, the um, design team package one of the um, one of the people in the comment section said that this lace looked like a mask and I thought hmm it does my wheels got to turn in and I called Michaels and see if they had any of these masks in stock and they did so I went and grabbed it and then this is what um, I did with it so super super cute if you guys can see all that shimmer on here it's absolutely gorgeous so I took the mask and then I um, tore up uh, pieces of loose print paper. It's a 12 by 12 sheet of paper that I had. I just ripped it in a lot of tiny pieces to cover the nose. And then I mod podged over the top of it and then let it sit. And then I went over the mask with some spray glue. And then I sprinkled glitter over the top. And it's so, so, so shiny. And then I adhered that piece of lace to go in the corner to go upward and up in the corner upward motion and then there's the bling trim and I just took, uh, took a piece of that a strip of that and then put it um, the rhinestone pieces randomly on the open spots of the lace so that's the bling trim that comes on a strip I think it's a strip of three and it's absolutely gorgeous and I added some more of the same trim that's on this bracelet I added on here and then I made like a little collage all of these were metal pieces well the key and this flower were metal pieces for my stash I did some white embossing and um, there we go it says dream and then here's another one of her gorgeous pieces bling center right there in the middle I added some lace for my stash all around the edges here's another piece it's the same piece that's on this flower gorgeous gorgeous put it right in the center I dangled some chain um, coming you know from there around the corner around the eye some more of that gorgeous lace from her shop and then I added just a tiny bit of bling here in the corner of the eye and over here um, there's a bow made out of tulle and um, some feathers that I layered what else is back here I altered another metal piece with some wet embossing powder and then this, an, another little wing piece that I put behind it just made like a little collage there's the other half of the wing right down there and then I added one of her bling centers and it's the same one that's on this side I added that little piece right there to add to this mask and I absolutely love it super super cute so that's what I created for um, my first guest um, GTD project and I look forward to um, creating more and sharing it with you guys please be sure to check the description box for the links to RT store and um, the previous video that I created with all of the items that she sent me in full so you'll be able to have a visual of what I used here and uh, like this video if you like it thank you guys so much for watching your awesome comments I love them thanks bye